All right. Hey, what's up, everyone? Velmy here, welcoming you back to a new mm, Ninjala S video. Um, so for this video, um, if you guys have been checking my, I don't know, Twitch, my Discord, my Twitter, or heck, even my Facebook, you will see that I have a ton of Ninjala loading screens, banners, and etc i've been doing them on twitch like crazy and i've been showing them off a bunch on my twitter so go ahead and check those out i'll leave a link in the description for both if you also know i also put my twitch in i put my twitch videos or live streams that i finished from there onto my youtube so also check that out anyway this video is going to be explaining just you know the basics of what i do for my ninjala loading screens um, just to explain a bit, because for, for, for friends, some people who want to know exactly how I get this done and what I do and what kind of fonts I use and whatnot. All right, so right here, right here, we have three different things that I use for my videos. We have the basic, um, loading screen, which is, you know, black with the info box and whatnot. You can also move it around, but I just choose not to move it because it looks weird. Um, you have the blue background one, which is just uh, a basic background, just blue that you can use color with. And you have this, which is a new one that I'm now uh, doing, which is Twitter banners it's using, you know, Ninjala S stuff. Um, but to start, so what I do first with my banners is I always try to first get my character. So whenever I make, whenever I need to get a character, I usually make a new one, you know, a new one, right? And then let's say, uh, let's, let's use someone, let's use, let's use this one. Okay. So let's say I want to get someone like, uh, Kagura. So we have, I would just get the, get the picture, right? So what I do is for my pictures, I get them from Twitter. Um, I usually just get the screenshots from my switch upload them to twitter and then from there i just grab said image and move it to my photoshop so we're gonna want to press enter right so we're gonna we're gonna use this tool right here which is the object selection tool that i use because it makes it so much more easier to do so like you just make like a little like like a circle around the character that, that you want to get it's not gonna be perfect you're gonna have to mess with it a bit so like what I would do is like, see, it, it, it caught a good amount of it, but it also um, left out a bit. So like what I do is I hold alt and click around it. See, then it's gonna get rid of that. It's gonna do all this, there we go. See, sometimes it's not gonna do it right away, but you know, it takes, it takes time. So then you do this, you know, it should, you have to give it a bit, see? That one too as well if you see any other parts you can do that as well i don't try to go for all of them because it's it's too much of a hassle to do but you want to try to basically get almost all the blue out once you do it's easier then once you just select the mask you, you get this it's almost nearly perfect not the best but you know it's 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 fine for what it is. Um, let's, 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 uh, what I would do is I try to erase like the little itty bitty bits, itty bitty bits. So we can try to do that, you know. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Try to erase some of this, you know. Do some of that. And maybe like a little bit of that. You don't want to erase too much. You don't want, you don't want the image looking too dang wet. And then once it's good, you make a new layer out of said image. And then what I do is I always click export as, right? From the export, you see the image right there. We're gonna go to my uh, folder that I have my character in right here. What I do is I just put the name of the character and just put like a number. All right, sorry about the cut from the last part. We're back again. I am going back to explaining. So the last thing I explained was getting the character right into the uh, cutting it out and uh, saving it and making it a new character. So now what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna take um, we're gonna take the character that we made that we put in our folder. This, this, this folder over here. We're going to take that character. Uh, let's see where is it? There it is. And we're gonna put it on our um, put it on our little background here. But as you can see, this is already an issue. It is in front of the info bar. We don't want that. So in order to fix that, we just put our character below the info bar so that it is behind it always. You know, I always want it to be behind. So with that being said, now that you have your character behind, if you want to spice it up like I do with my loading screens, you can always, you know, add another image, you know, add another image like I do. But before we, before we mess with this other image, I want to do something to the background. So what I would do is I want to go, you know, do something to it. So I'll go here. I would click the lock right here to unlock it. We would right click the background. I want to go to blending options. So in the blending options, I would want to change my color. So like got black, I mean not black, <laughs> purple. So I want to go to purple, and it, as you can see, it doesn't look purple. That's because we have it on saturation. If we change it to, I believe, hue, there we go. And now we have purple, so we can keep it like that. You can also mess with this as much as you want. Um, you can get some pretty cool effects to your loading screens if you want to do it like that. You know, see? For me, I just keep it basic, you know, simple, hue. There you go. So I want it to be hue because now, when I click on this image right here, I'm gonna go to blending options and we're gonna just do the first one. Not any other one, just, just the first one. We just quickly scroll down, look for Lumosity. And as you can see, it'll now make the image have the shade of the background that the image is in. So like right here, it's perfect. If we were to move it, look at that, it is now black. So we're gonna move it back over here because I want it purple. Gonna enlarge it a bit, and you know, it's right there. And there you go. You have a character, a little thing in the background with your character in the front. So if you're also like me, you also have a logo of some sorts of any kind for your Ninjala uh, character or characters. So if you have one, you normally just click it, drag it on in. Put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it right here, just for an example, you know. There you go, see? There you go. There we go. Um, as you know, some of the Ninjala characters have their own logos, or some of the uh, fashion brands have their own logos. So, you know, it's good to have your own logo, Differ differentiate your characters from uh, others. All right, so yeah, that's the logo. Um, that's the character, character's gonna be in the middle. Uh, the next thing I wanna go over is the text. And this is the big part. This is the big part I really want to go over because I figured a lot of people was like, oh man, how did you get your text like that? Man, I can't get it. So what I do first is let's go ahead and get the text over here. All right. All right. There we go. So as you can see, there's nothing. So we're going to type in Taco as an example. As you can see, um, we can't see it right now. So in order for this to be seen, we have to put it above the info bar. So I'll leave a link in the description of what fonts I use for my um, character uh, names and whatnot. But for right now, the font that I'm going to use is called Asda. It's either it's anyone is <coughs> sorry, it's anyone in the Asda family of fonts. So you can use Asda Expanded. You can use the italic you know anything that looks kind of close to the uh, ninjala original font so i wouldn't recommend using that academy italic it's not too good either italic or expanded whichever one you want uh so i want to change the color of this so let's like let's, let's make it purple so as you can see we made purple doesn't look too good right so this is where the blending options come in. So let's right click Cogger's name. Right, we're gonna right click it and we're gonna add a stroke. You can't see the strokes, so we have to look the opacity. There it is, now you can see it. And we're gonna add a drop shadow to it. So 
I don't know. Look, look at that. It's pretty good now, doesn't it? Yep. Press OK. And there it is. Boom. There is Kagura's name. It's purple with the drop shadow and the stroke. Now, if you want to go extra like I've been doing, you can also add in like a gradient overlay to add in some extra flair to your uh, names, you know? And some extra flair. Oh, I, I like, I like this stuff. Let's go with that. You know, look at that. Boom. Okay. Very good. All right. So the next thing that I would also do is we're going to add another text box right under the name. Okay, right. Make it as large as you can. As long as it fills up the whole box. That's what you're trying to go. So, for this, we're not going to use Asda. We're going to use Eris Demi ITC because it's it's more on the lines of a uh, text type font that I like to use. Like, okay. So, as you can see, we're going to put, like, I don't know, Kagura. Oops, Kagura. color you can keep it you don't have to keep it black but it's just for an example so it's more see seeable i want to say that's black you know okay. uh, then if you want to add something to it like whatever you feel like it's age who knows 60. okay another jump cut because i forgot that i did that again Anyway, this video this video is gonna be really long. It's very dumb. It's not even organized. I'm just going through it right now. Bear with me. We're almost done. Uh, I you can clearly see that I I just I just went ham on a lot of stuff. Just know that the only thing I did was that I um, changed the background. I changed the background to have a gradient overlay, which I can take off and on. Make it look a little bit more spicy, you know. If you ever want to change it. And then for the roiding, I also did the same thing. Just went to the blending options, add the gradient, you know, give it some spice, add a stroke, maybe add some, a drop shadow, make it look a little bit much uh, better, more professional. And then I also went over the uh, single color loading screens that I also do, which I just uh, demonstrated. I use the gradient with Lumosity on the image and the text is still the same as Eris, Demi, ITC, and of course the name text is still the same as well. It's just orange. So, yes, that is that. I believe I went over everything for this. <laughs> Aside from all the jump cuts, uh, yeah, it should be everything. And then lastly, I guess just for an added bonus extra, just in case you guys. <clears throat> were still curious these are my ninjala template for banners that i use so i'll just give you a rough example let's say i want to change the color for this one let's let's make it let's make it red so let's say i want to use red all right and let's say let's use the example of hikari so i would drag and drop my character and put them at the top you know, right there right there done and there so what i would do with this character is we want to get some stickers if you need help with stickers just let's make a new one right get your image from the ninjala game this is what i do i get my image from the ninjala game i take a picture of it and I just, um, let's use an easy one. What's an, uh, what's an easy one I can use just to show it off pretty easily. Ah, oh, hold on, I have one, I have an easy one I can use. Let's say we use this one, right? So you get the sticker image from Ninjala, whether you want to get it from Twitter or whether you want to download it yourself, doesn't matter. To get the sticker itself, you want to, again, use your object selection tool to trace carefully over the image that you are trying to get. If all is good, you think there's nothing wrong, maybe you can get this little edge right here. Right. And 
sticker select mask there is your image of the sticker we're gonna make it into a new layer and just export it from there but since i already have it exported you already know this process so the image is now exported so now what we can do is go back to this one go ahead and add set sticker right here what i like to do is put it like a little bit a little bit shorter you know a little bit shorter uh and then i have some extra stickers that i've already uh made or not made uh fixed and got out so we can just, we can just add these i usually only use like about four because i feel only four could like fit depending on the size Depending on how big you want it. I want them to be seen, so I don't want them to be too small. So, uh, we have, we have one more. We can use, uh, we can use this one. You know, we just really just, you know, just put them all down, make them small. Make them at a good size. Then what you, what I do next is just go here, make like a big space, and we just want to add, the first we want to change the font. Change the font. That one name is Safari. We're going to max out the font. Let the name be the same. Let's make it let's make it like let's make it better. There we go. So just like that and you already know this process of what we do. We go into our options, we go ahead and put a red color, we go ahead and right click the name, go ahead and add a stroke, go ahead and add a drop shadow. You want to add a gradient to make it pop out a bit more. Make it, make it red. Uh, let's make it an overlay. That's red glare. It's okay. Go ahead and move the name down to give you rotate it like sideways if you want. Like that. And there you go. That's pretty much it for the Ninjala banner. If you wanna, if you want, you can also lumosidize this. Make it. Uh, background like that you know do it like that but for this demonstration we'll just keep it on. so that's the banner uh the, those are the blue background loading screens that is the tutorial for that one i've gone over that just keep in mind that the, the fonts that i use and i'm also going to link them in the description here is Eris Demi ITC that is for the text and then for this one it's either going to be um Asda Italic Asda Academic Italic if you want Asda Expanded for that you know good feel you could even use Asda Condensed Italic if you want um and for like you know secondary just in case you can also use this one p3 cosmos not too good not too bad it's okay i don't use it too often but if you want that's also a good option i'll also link some of these um fonts in the description uh but these are like the closest thing you're gonna get to somewhat type of ninjala font you know per se so yeah um but i think that's it for this video actually this video wasn't too long um, probably edited a lot because of some parts, but yeah, it wasn't too long. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate how I do these things to you people, you lovely people, my lovely subscribers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, please let me know either on YouTube or on my Twitter about these loading screens. If you want me to make you one, please let me know on here my discord or my twitter so yeah the links will be in the description i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm velmer and i will see you all later